I understand that I made a, I made a mistake. It's consequences that come with mistakes, but I feel like it's consequence after consequence after consequence after consequence. You can't just go around destroying, defacing stuff that don't belong to you. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. A local student who pulled a sticky senior prank believes that his punishment is out of proportion to the prank, while the school says it's just enough. Royce Jones went to Aliquippa to see where both sides are coming from. The senior prank at Aliquippa High School covered every window and door from that end of the building to this end of the building. It involved several condiments and four students who got in a lot more trouble than they anticipated. You disciplined them for it, and now you still want to discipline them again for it? Like, it doesn't make too much of sense to me. Jason Harvey is graduating from Aliquippa Junior Senior High School. He earns good grades, has a good reputation, but recently made a bad decision. It was eggs, chocolate syrup, honey, and ranch dressing. We threw the eggs, we sprayed the bottles, <laughs> we brought 2023. The night of May 10th, himself and three classmates pulled a senior prank, coating the outside of the building in all of the condiments he just mentioned. Although the school ended up needing a power washer to remove the mess, that next morning when school leaders learned who made it, Harvey and another student were sent outside to at least try and clean it up. But as they would soon learn from the principal, their punishment was just getting started. I offered cut community service for the whole summer. Um, I offered to cut grass. I offered to do a lot of stuff that I offered to do, but they denied the offer. He was suspended for three days, which made him miss prom. And per the student handbook, any student involved in a senior prank is automatically banned from their graduation ceremony. Harvey apologized and even delivered a speech at Wednesday's school board meeting, begging to walk the graduation stage. But Superintendent Dr. Philip Woods tells KDKA, in the name of consistency, he is not making any exceptions to the rules. They came on campus after it was shut down. That's trespassing. They vandalized the school. I didn't file any legal charges. I didn't put any, uh, what do they call it, financial sanctions on them. Harvey's family tells me they did offer to reimburse the school for the power washer rental, but the school is still not budging. And right about now, Jason Harvey is feeling regretful about his part in the prank. I do. And I apologize and I apologize and I apologize. But it's only so much that I can continuously say. Graduation here in Aliquippa is Friday, June 2nd. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA TV News.